Long time Metallica hater here. I think my biggest issue with Metallica was their band name and their image. I do listen to metal, but I like heavier stuff than Metallica. And so I've done reactions to Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets in the hopes of changing my mind and getting into Metallica. Because I don't want to hate them. I don't want to hate any bands. I would love to to love all bands and all music, but I can't because I'm a hater. So am I going to hate Metallica's Black Album? Logically, I probably should. This is around the time that I first heard Metallica on MTV. This is at the peak of their commercial success and it's got Enter Sandman on it. So I should probably hate that song and I should probably hate this album. But do I really hate that song? I don't know. I'm actually not so sure anymore. I'm kind of hyped to listen to this album. I tend to hate metal and pop together, but I have a feeling I might get into this one. I'm, I really don't know. I'm excited to hear it. Is this going to suddenly click for me? Or am I going to fucking hate it and talk shit and make fun of it? Making fun of Metallica and James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich. I'm just gonna fucking rip it apart. All right, let's go. Enter Sandman, track one off the Black Album. Wow. I haven't seen this video in a long time. This is peak Metallica right here. Oh, it's that old man. Production is so clean. It's so clean and the guitar tone is like yeah, they found like that sweet spot It's clean, but it's um Like they got that they isolated like the right frequency. So those chugs are just uh, They're just super sharp The songwriting is actually like yeah, it's actually like pretty good like that riff that guitar riff is the kind of thing like like you think you know how to play it but then you realize it's not the way you think it is the bridge I like the bridge how like that guitar it's actually like a clean guitar mixed in there with like some chorus on it and then the chorus itself is a key change. It's actually written like really well. It's it's a really it's, it's a well written song. I think uh, 
Yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it. And the video is, I like that it's um very uh, kind of like chaotic. And it brings me back. It brings me back to that time, you know, to the 90s. Let's keep it going. are a bit on the nose. Like right there, that that key change. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. These lyrics. Kind of, it's kind of working. It's so like over the top that it kind of works in that sense. That's cool, falling off the building. This reminds me of like, Friday to 13th, for some reason. Or, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. This is cool. Using, like, the, the prayer. These lyrics. In your closet, in your okay. Yeah. Good song. Can you at least imagine, like, I'm a little kid, and I'm hearing this for the first time, and, like, I'm hearing, I guess, metal in general for the first time. And in my opinion, that's all I'm doing, y'all. I'm just giving you my opinions. And this, this was my opinion when I was like a little kid, right? My opinion was like, this is kind of fucking lame. Like these lyrics are really fucking lame. And I can tell that metal is cool and I like metal, but I don't want to hear it from this band, from the band called Metallica. Can you at least like, understand from that point of view from that perspective now it's so many years later I don't quite feel the same anymore right and that's why I'm listening to this today and um, I'm remembering how I felt when I was a little kid but I'm thinking about how it makes me feel now and now I don't really give a shit too much anymore because I've heard so much other music since then I don't give a shit about it too much and um, I think uh, yeah I think I'm I'm getting it I'm I think I'm accepting it for what it is let's hear this let's hear this uh, this build up with these lyrics and this kid sleeping in his bed the beasts under your bed in your closet in your head What was that? Grain of Sin? Oh, cool. <laughs> it's gonna... It reminds me of, like, Terminator or something. Yeah. This reminds me of, like, Nightmare on Elm Street and Terminator for some reason. Ah, 
There he is, the uh, the Sandman. Okay. Okay. Now, let's keep it going. This is what I really want to hear. Like, the rest of the album. This is what I'm curious about. Sad But True, track two. I, uh, I, there's a music video for it, but I don't know if I know this song. I don't think I know this song. That's cool. I don't... I must have heard this song before. It's like vaguely familiar, but... Like, that's pretty cool. I think I remember that... that drum fill. I feel like I'm hearing this for the first time. This is cool. I like this track too. This riff right here kind of reminds me of like Pantera slightly. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Yo, Lars, good job. Yo, can we hear that again? I like that. Ooh. ooh. Let's listen to Lars here. Synths in the background there. His vocals are really layered. Even there, it's at least doubled. Like they really went all out with the production for this. I like this guitar riff here. Oh, wait, I didn't do it there. I think there must have been some wrestler that used this as their, like, opening. Interesting rhythmic 
stuff happening there. I thought the song was going to end right there. It's a massive set. I like that one. It was a good song. All right, track three, Holier Than Thou. There's no video for this. This sounds way more old school than the first two tracks. Rhythm is interesting. I like the uh, the message of this song. It's not who you are, it's who you know. Taking a shot at the, you know, overly religious. Overly religious hypocrites. Maybe they don't go as hard as Slayer or Deicide, but it's cool. Yeah, who the hell are you? It's like, it sounds like super old school. It doesn't even, it sounds totally different from the first two tracks. Nice, nice. Really like that that bass interlude there. 
drum and bass. Good track. It's pretty solid. All right. The Unforgiven, track four. That note, when it goes up, it, that's, it does that. It does it for me. I like that. Okay. imagery too I like I like how this was produced like that's cool <laughs> that 90s MTV music video wall yes Kind of reminds me of like a tool video. I really like the reverb on this guitar solo. It's like a smaller room reverb. Maybe is it like a plate reverb? Oh my god, 
on this video. It reminds me of a lot of other videos. But it's really cool. It really it reminds me of Tool. Looks like like uh, like Stink Fist or Prison Sex. That's cool. I actually, I I kind of remember that song a little bit, but not really. I I didn't think I would like that song, but I actually did. I I dug that. It's a good song. Good video. Okay, this song I do know, and I actually really like this song a lot. I think out of all the songs that I know off of this album. I actually really like this song a lot. I like this riff a lot. I don't really care for like the sitar sound, but it works so well here. Like, cause this riff is so, it's so perfect for that sitar sound. Yes, right here. Cool. I like this additional percussion, whatever that, like that metallic sound. Chord changes, man. Yeah, they're really good. Then the guitar riff is kind of like backwards. I'm waiting for it. Yo, this is such a well-written song. I think mean, this is the best structurally, like arrangement and chord progression. This is the best one so far. And that's really cool to how he whispers like the first line and then he sings the rest of it. So many cool ideas in this one song. Good chord. Good voicing in that chord.
You know, that Windows sound before, that was not my computer. That was probably yours. You should, you should check something. Windows is trying to tell you something because it, it wasn't, it wasn't me. I wouldn't have Windows notifications while I'm doing a reaction video. Of course not. Unprofessional. Don't tread on me. Track six. Wait, isn't that like another song? This isn't three time. One, two, three, one, two, three. fast those triplets
they think that song was, it was all right. It was all right. Track, track seven, through the never. This is cool. This is interesting. I like this. I like this. switch ups on this song. It's got a good drive, cool riff, it's like a simple riff. Reminds me of another band. I I, I like There's something very musical about that. What is that? Reminds me of White Zombie a little bit. Yeah, that's a solid song. Track seven, Through the Never. That's a good one. Okay. Nothing Else Matters. I just know that this song goes, and nothing else matters. That's all I know. All right, this is how it was made. <laughs> this is what we're listening to. This is how it was made. Nosferatu.
você é nada em meus mãos. Trust I see and I find in you. Every day for us something new. Open my oh, I thought it was gonna go in. <laughs> And nothing else matters. Never care for what, <laughs> what was that tissue doing there? What were we using that tissue for? Never care for what they know. Did they have to blur out that picture? Look at that. It looks like it's blurred out. Like it's tits or something. So close. It sounds really hard to keep in time with this song right here because it, it's like really slow and there's not too much going on Like you got to be really solid with your internal internal rhythm Like this drum beat right here myself this way Life is ours, we live it our way Hold these words I don't just see And nothing else matters Trust I seek and I find in you As a veteran? Every day for us something new in mind for a different view and nothing else matters never care for what they say never care for games they play never care for what they do never care for what they know Playing that with his fingers? I think he did both, right? Interesting video. It's cool uh, behind the scenes look and it looks like they're uh, you know, having a lot of fun making that 
Um, you know, I'm not really into the melodic stuff so much. That song's okay. Um, I, I respect it. I know there's probably like the favorite song of a lot of y'all. Um, it's, it's all right. I'm not, it's not really like my thing, but, uh, yeah, I, I can respect it. I'd say like out of the, the two more melodic tracks we've heard so far, um, I think I, I prefer the Unforgiven, but this one's all right too. Uh, let's keep it going now. Track nine of Wolf and Man. Interesting rhythmically, this song. It's weird, sometimes I... I really like what they're doing, and then other times it's just kind of like, okay. Like, they're really close to... It's like really close to clicking with me, but like, not quite. This is one that maybe... Maybe if I heard it with repeated listens, I could get into it more, I think. This one could take some time. But there's something about it that's like creepy and cool. But then like the rhythms are like, they're cool, but uh, I don't know, something is like holding me back a little bit. Holding me back from like fully clicking with it. Back to a better day. Oh, shape shift. That's what he's saying, right? Like, I could picture this becoming my favorite track, like, later. Maybe not my favorite, but, like, I could picture myself really getting into this much later down the line. It was a cool song. It was a cool song. 
The God That Failed. Track 10, another religious song. I like, I like when it's like drum and bass. when they hit that low note.
Nice. Nice ending. Um, yeah, I think a lot of cool musical ideas in there. Uh, you know, cool rhythm, cool chugs. Uh, it's a little... I, I feel like they linger on the same idea for a little too long, though. I wish they brought the song somewhere else, like maybe in the middle or something. Or it just... I wish it kind of elevated it like later down the line but it, it's all right it's it's pretty good it's pretty, pretty good uh driving song uh track 11 my friend of misery Okay, it's an interesting song, very interesting, and it sounds like the lyrics sound very like personal, like you wrote this about something. That's that's really that's different there when he when he sings that part like kind of weakly. This part's cool. They do these key changes really well. And yeah, that chorus like ties it together for me. What is that? Is that an Ebo? I feel like that's totally an Ebo. That's totally an Ebo.
this, um, what is it? It's like a harmonized, like, Finn Lizzy-esque guitar lead here. experimental sounding tracks on the album I like it though I appreciate this song yeah this is a good song my friend of misery all right we're on the last track the struggle within harmonies here. It's different. As the last track, I totally expected this to be like, like not fast and heavy. But now they they brought back the aggression for the closer. Something and you got the feel. What 
Excellent closer. All right, that was the Black Album by Metallica. Um, I I I think it's good. I think it's good. You know, having heard two of their albums previously, I feel like that. Yeah, they have elevated their songwriting here. Even though, yeah, it is more like mainstream sounding, but like unexpectedly I, I I almost I think I, I kind of like it more um, yeah it's weird to say this but uh, I think I might like this album more than than the other two that I heard um, like these first five tracks are so um, are so powerful like it starts off strong uh, which is to be expected of these big commercial releases where uh, they tend to front load these albums. They put like all the best tracks in the beginning of the album. And um, I think the rest of it, the rest of it's pretty cool. The rest of it's got like cool moments, um, but I don't think it's as powerful as like these first five tracks. I, I, I'd say like track six didn't, I, I wasn't really into that track. But the rest of them, I think uh, there are some there are some really really cool moments, some really cool riffs. I think "Wherever I May Roam" is probably my favorite song. Um, and "Through the Never" is really good too. Yeah, I kind of like Enter the Sandman. Actually, Enter Sandman School. Sad but true. That's another. That's a good song too. Yeah, a lot of really good tracks on this. Um, awesome. So yeah, Black Album. It really something about the production and the sound of it really brings me back to that early. Yeah, like early '90s and even kind of like mid '90s. Um, I can hear this this fusion of like that old school 80s sound but with like there's like a new there's a new freshness to it that we found in the in the next decade in the, the 90s and i can hear that even even now even to this day um so yeah metallica the black album what do you all think of the black album what's the best metallica album um any any requests any requests let me know down in the comments below or catch me live i've been live streaming uh i've been doing a lot of recording actually the last like two weeks i've been like sucked into recording so i haven't had time to do some reaction videos uh so i'm gonna try and do a couple reaction videos for now and then I think I'm gonna go back to recording because I really need to record this music I'm recording some demos um, and it's like really really important it's a really important so I'm trying to use the momentum that I've acquired from starting the recording process again I haven't recorded for a really long time and now that I'm getting sucked back into it I can you know, I, I understand that. This is really important that I got to capitalize on my momentum now and uh, keep recording. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. So I'll probably record a couple more reactions, I'm thinking, maybe today or tomorrow. And then I'll probably go back to recording. But I do live stream usually 
you know, every night uh, or during the day, but I only stream for like one or two hours and I'm just playing some games. Right now I'm trying to work through Persona 3 Reload, I'm trying to beat that game because I have a huge backlog of other games that I want to play. And then there's even more games coming out soon that I need to play. So I'm overwhelmed with games, but I don't really have too much time or I don't really put too much time into playing every day. So I only play for like an hour or two. So if you see me uh, live streaming, drop on in, say hello. And if you want to hear me uh, react to something, uh, let me know. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out. Till next time.